Jack Murphy is a social influencer of sorts, but instead of flashing expensive cars and lots of cash, he took the intellectual track. He wanted to make a change in the world, especially after changing from liberal to conservative politically, so he created the liminal order. They aimed to make better men and therefore better societies. He got a lot of flack from other influencers, podcasters, YouTubers, and the like for several incidents that I'm not going to go over here, but they lead up to what we're going to talk about, so it's good to know about them. Then Jack posted an apology letter. He posted it on the Liminal Order website, and I wouldn't have known about it except for watching a video from the quartering. Jeremy was calling out Jack and roasting him for this letter that he thought wasn't truthful at all. I felt the same way after watching his video, but then I went to check out the letter. The letter's pretty long, and there's a lot of references to Christianity in it. I think the criticism, though, was a misunderstanding, because Jack seems pretty sincere in what he says. Jack starts with a bit of his own history in the letter. He talks about how he had a bad past, and he wanted to move past it. Relatable. He says he didn't want to come clean about his past in the past, and that was a bad idea. I agree. So now he's coming clean about it. He's taking responsibility for his actions, by his own words, so that's good. He says some criticism came on the Order members and not just him. And apparently from the quartering, even some people in the Liminal Order were saying that their lives were positively changed. So that criticism is definitely misplaced. The letter switches over to part two here, where Jack says that he didn't create the Liminal Order as a fan club, despite what a lot of people think. Now, Jack here also says that he never said, he never claimed to have the perfect masculinity, or the perfect example of masculinity. And certainly a lot of people would dispute that, but that's also outside the bounds of this letter, so I'm just going to stay in it for ease of understanding. He goes on to talk about how he changed, and compared himself in a way to Saul, who eventually became Paul in the Bible. He's biblically accurate here. Quote, I think about Saul converting into Paul, for example, in the New Testament. He went from slaughtering Christians to writing a huge chunk of the Bible and correcting churches. Again, no problems there. He seems to be pretty sincere, and at least he's biblically accurate. He talks more about his own mistakes and problems, and then he says, You can find redemption. Just because you were X in the past doesn't mean you will be X forever. It's not just his own opinion, that is pretty much objectively true, and it is a Christian teaching, so he's sincere there too, and at least he's correct. Then he says more about Christianity, quote, Christianity morality has informed a large part of my quest for redemption and growth. A unique part of Christianity is redemption. We are redeemed not by our own works, but by grace. And part of that grace is true repentance for what we've done and a heart desiring change. Grammar aside, this is another core Christian teaching. Jack again seems to be sincere, and he knows what he's talking about. The big gripe that the quartering had was with this statement. Frankly, if anyone rejects the ability to be redeemed, they are rejecting Christian morality, but the American spirit as well. Jeremy said that Jack was being insane in correlating himself with Christianity here, on a one-to-one -one scale. But I think he misunderstood him. If you take the sentence at face value, it's still objectively true. Christians believe in redemption, and he even refutes the claim that he's correlating himself with Christianity in the next sentence. That is not to say that I am synonymous with the Christian faith, or that I don't have to show my repentance and desire to change. In short, I think that Jack made some biblically accurate statements, and because of the events that happened before all this, I think he was simply misunderstood. However, I still have a couple concerns that aren't cleared up after reading this letter. First, when Jack talks about redemption, he's talking about redemption among peers. So he means making mistakes and making up for them with respect to other people. While that's no doubt a good thing, he really misses the point of Christianity if he thinks that's the core teaching. Like I said, redemption among man is a good thing, and certainly making friends that way is wonderful. But redemption with God the Father is the core Christian teaching, and he didn't mention that in the letter at all. The best I could do is possibly infer something from what he said. He says, What was old will become new, but that Bible reference talks about the old self passing away and the new life coming to each person that accepts Christ. 
I don't think Jack is associating himself with Christianity on a one-to-one scale like we've seen some other people do. But they're really criticizing science because I represent science. I am the Senate. But he does get the core Christian teaching wrong if he thinks it's only about redemption between people. So really, in short, I think that the criticism of Jack is misplaced, but not for the reason that other people think. Yeah.